Transmission and abduction from supine line position. You can apply it from extended knee or flexed knee. From the extended knee position, place one hand proximal to the knee joint and one hand proximal to the ankle joint. Now you need to roll inside into internal rotation and outside into external rotation. Rolling action into internal rotation or external rotation. From the flexed knee position, you need to flex the hip into 90 degrees and the flexion in 90 degrees. And you need to stabilize the thigh like this. If it is really big and heavy, you can cradle the thigh and hold the leg uh, from uh, the distal aspect. Now you need to move in into external rotation and then you move out into internal rotation. The difference is the heel. So heel in, external rotation of the thigh, heel out, internal rotation of the hip joint.